for all the people that are going to ask me why I'm not wearing makeup, I felt lazy, okay? It's been a long week and I was feeling lazy. So that's just it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know for the past week I haven't been posting. This is because there are a lot of stuff I had to put in place, you know, and things, changes I had to make to my own self. And also because, I don't know, I don't know if you heard about it, but YouTube has put in some new, you know, changes in place moving forward. So for their content creators and then for partnership programs. And at first, this was, I was going to do a video about it, you know, going to shake my fist at YouTube, like how could you do something like that? But I thought about it and I was like, well, I mean, it's their company, they choose to do what they want to do, even though it's really unfair. But hey, I mean, we're still in the game, we still put out our videos and everything, and everything. So my name is Ifa Labi, like at this point, just subscribe to my channel, pull your friends, come and sit down and watch this video, and then let's just get into the video. So the show I'm going to talk about today is This Is It, not to be confused with This Is Us. So This Is It is a web series on YouTube and it's done by Laula D. I don't know if I've mentioned that name correctly. It's Lola D or Laula D. So potato, potato. Hey. So it follows the lives of a couple, like the first year after they got married or immediately after they got married. Which is which? Like it's like the life after marriage. Let me just put it like that. Life after marriage. So then the chronicles, you know, the the strides, the happy moments, the sad moments, the ugh moments and everything. So so far there are two seasons out. And someone told me that there might not be a third season because this was supposed to be like an experiment. But I'll 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 try and reach out to the creator and then find out where she wants to go with the show. But the show is really great. You know, and someone a friend of mine told me to actually watch the show like three or four months ago, I think four months ago, and I had been procrastinating on watching it, but then later on I finally decided to like sit back and watch the whole season one. So I binge watched season one, and season two I would have binge watched it, but then there was no episode seven. I went on YouTube today, I found that episode seven came three days ago, so it's like, you know, they're just going to binge watch all of this. So the plot of this is, is very cool for me, like, you know, this is like two different people that are married and they are living together in the house. and from this from the plot it kind of seems like they haven't they weren't cohabitating before they decided to tie the knot so it's like you know some of the little quirks that they are finding out about each other the things that make them happy the things that they fight about and everything so then it's cool i think the first episode for me felt a little bit weird but i mean it's like the pilot of every show so obviously the pilot of every show will have its that like, kinks it has to work out but by the time the show went to like its fifth and sixth episode it was just really really great like the storyline is engaging, you actually want to follow what the couple are doing, what their friends are doing, or not. Well, what I didn't like about the plot was the friends, like the other couple that was like their friends that had already gotten married before. So then they were supposed to be like the benchmark or something to aspire to. But then I don't like how that story was written, because it's like, if you're following the friends, I like, I, it took me a while before I pieced the puzzle together that oh the friends are actually married like the the girl's friend and the guy's friend they're actually a couple it really messed me up when i found out so the episodes feel some way for me the episode that made me just like that was just very cringe worthy for me was the seduction episode where the girls are just going to seduce the guy i was just watching it and i know how realistic it is right but to see it being played i was like oh kill me please like i need to like wash out my eyes with detergent because it was very some way for me to watch but then the show is really good i really like the boy t the husband i really like him a lot i like his acting i like the way he talks i like the way he interacts with the girl his friend and everything but the person i don't really like is the wife which makes no sense because you see it's supposed to be about the two of them but then the wife for some reason the way she talks her acting really ingratiates me and there's a funny thing right before I watched This Is It, I made my sisters watch it, I made another friend watch it. And then all of them were like, oh, they like the guy, but they didn't like the girl. And I thought it was just them, because I mean, my sisters, they are some way about movies and shows. So when I decided to watch it myself, I was like, ugh, kill the girl, please. I don't know if in season 2 it gets better, hopefully it gets better. This is like, fingers crossed, because disclaimer as i've already said i haven't seen a season two so all the people that come in my comments and be like oh my god you haven't seen season two so why are you talking about it why are you talking about it 
I already said I haven't seen it because it wasn't full. And during week after week, it's thrown us on YouTube when you can watch it together and like enjoy the full experience. And I feel like Netflix has spoiled me a lot. But then that's beside the point. So yes, that's the whole thing. So this is it's really great. And the plot is really great. What I don't like about it is the soundtrack, like the, the music score. Because when you listen to it, I don't know. It, it's not like a music score for it. I'm really trying to think about it. So this is it has, so far there are 20 episodes out, so 10 episodes for season 1, 10 episodes for season 2. And hopefully there will be a season 3 because I'm all up for it. And this is the thing, I really like how right now a lot of things are going on YouTube. Because as I've said several times, I don't have a television in my house. So if there's a show that's on TV, the likelihood of me being able to see it is zero. Like how Coco Girl isn't on, is on YouTube for season 2. I can't watch it because I don't know what's going on. He was on sneakers and I guess that you know you need the ad space and you need all of that and all of that but that's my thing YouTube is a really great avenue to explore it's true that YouTube is just being somewhere about this policy changes now but at the end of the day I need to watch the shows too so this is it is really great and one of the things I like about this is it are their episode titles right cuz like the first one was the honeymoon crushes or something so come in yeah the first one was honeymoon crushes and then there's big girl then there's firecracker then there's team care then there's reawakening then there's ring the alarm then there's third base brouhaha which first of all that episode was one I didn't get how can you be married and still have problems with third base no you guys are married people are supposed to be together in holy matrimony and also there's another thing i didn't understand about this is it is it that they were celibate before they got married or you know they were doing the the freaky nikki before they got married because you know right now a lot of people are trying to like open up the conversation about celibacy before married or cohabitating before marriage and you know all those things so that's what i didn't really understand about it because it kind of felt like the girl was a virgin before they got married or maybe i'm wrong i'm the one mixing up fact but anyways, if you know, if you want to like discuss it to me, please leave it in the comments below, right? So anyways, I'm done with this video. So if any of you have seen This Is It, honestly, seriously, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the show. Will you be anticipating season three? Are you like, they should just do the whole show away? And I'm really, really excited for Lala D. I'm like, I'm not going to front about it. Anytime I see like an African female filmmaker doing series i'm just so excited like nico i'm to feel with an african city because i also want to be in that space so when i see people in that space i try to learn from them i try to watch what they are doing support them and all those other things because you know we all need to support each other so then seriously seriously i'm not in this video now you guys should like leave your comments below if you've seen this is it if you haven't seen it what are you waiting for you should honestly like just it's a youtube click away just type this is it and you'll see it subscribe watch it honestly 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 please watch this is it it's really funny and it's not too funny that's the thing it's not too funny that you just go oh god but it's appropriate funny you know get you thinking you follow it so then it's cool all in all right like that's all you want from a show it should be cool it should be engaged and it shouldn't be overly funny when it's not like a comedy so it's like oh what are you trying to do right so then my name is Ifa Labi. Please subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. Pull a friend to subscribe to my channel. Like, you should support me. You should support my movement. I will tell you what my movement is, but you should support my movement. And check out my other videos that are going to be laid out here. I love you and thank you so much for watching the video. And don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe with your friends and everybody judging you.